welcome to another rendition of The Living Show, living in Shelby Township. I'm Taylor Vitani and I am here with my new good friend, Joe Youngblood. He is the Director of Parks and Recreation here in Shelby Township and we're going to talk a little bit about parks around the area and which parks have different paths, different trails. We're going to get into it a little bit here. Right now we are in River Bend's uh, Park and this is, I heard, the biggest park in Shelby Township, is that correct? That is correct, Taylor, and uh, thanks for having me on the show today. Yes, and thanks for having, for, thanks for coming. Oh, for sure. And if we're gonna be talking about parks here in Shelby, I hope you have a lot of time. Oh gosh, <laughs> I w I've been here just for what half an hour, and I feel like this is like the nicest, biggest park. It there's is. so many <clears throat> different like ways you can go in different paths. Um, it's so beautiful here, and there's so much room and space. Just families can go and do their own thing and not ha be crowded in with each other. So. What is your favorite thing about this particular park? Well, as you mentioned, this is the largest park we, we do have here in Shelby Township. Uh, we have a main entrance off a 22 mile road, and then the, it's split into two parts uh, because we have the Clinton River that runs through it. We have a bridge that crosses. You can't get through there with a car, but off of Ryan Road, you can come in on the other side. And we have the uh, nature center there. We also have a trap and archery range. We have a soccer field, oh, wow. playgrounds, pavilion rental. Then you come over on this side, and, and, and as you see from the amount of users in this park from when we were talking before the camera started, it's unbelievable. Yes. And it's just great for the residents of Shelby Township to be able to come to a park, um, whether you're want, looking for active recreation or passive recreation, we have it all here. Not only here in River Bends, but all of our parks in the township. Oh, absolutely. And I know there's tons of hiking, biking, walking, different trails that go all through and lead to other parks around mm -hmm. the area. What uh, parks do lead to like other things that people might not know about? Well, this trail right behind me here, this asphalt trail, uh, this one eventually will be part of the Iron Bell uh, Trail Connector. But this trail connects right now, uh, heading south through the uh, city of Utica, Sterling Heights, and over to uh, St. Clair Shores. So this is a huge connector right here. And we're also working on um, another local connector here in Shelby Township to connect our residents into this park and to Gene Shepherd Park. So we got a lot of things, uh, not only do we have great parks, we're continuously trying to add new uh, things for our residents. Yes, and in, in these times right now with the pandemic happening and everyone being locked inside, mm -hmm. and you know, you get a little stir crazy being sure. inside the house, and I'm sure it's good for everyone to be able to go somewhere where they can get some fresh air, for and sure. they can you know play outside, and especially with it being summertime. Um, this is the, I mean, I can't imagine a better place than these parks right here in Shelby Township. So. Is there any parks that aren't open or are they all in the township open for local residents? All of our, our parks are open at this time. We do have a certain uh, uh, few things per the governor's orders that we do have closed where we're, we have to maintain social distancing like the basketball right. rims that may stack away to take those down because we can't maintain that. But, um, and even the playgrounds, those are you know tough to uh, social distance. I know some people are out there um, and just keep an eye on their children right. yeah, with that. But the, the nice thing about here, you can just come by anytime you want. Um, and if you've got a pavilion open, you can sit down and relax. Uh, but you can also rent it for a family picnic, oh, birthday really? parties. Uh, we've had a, a lot of graduation parties. And uh, as you talked about with COVID-19, yes. um, our parks are always busy, but this year, it's unbelievable. I can imagine it's yep. probably one of the busiest yep. years. People yep. just really needing to get out of the For house. Sure. I know I've myself have struggled with it and this. Yeah, like I said, I just can't imagine a better place than the beautiful parks of Shelby Township mm -hmm. and just the amount of trails and paths. I mean, there's nowhere you can't go. It's amazing. It's no, really exactly. great. So I am so glad that we got to talk with you today and we got to talk about the parks. Sure. Um, so if anyone needs to contact you or to contact someone about the parks or any information regarding the parks, where would they go for that? Uh, well, they can call us at 586-731-0300. Uh, um, and people, they do know where to find us, but any, anyone new that just moved in, they can give us, a, give us a call and we'll talk to them and give them all the information they need. Also, uh, the Facebook page, we have information. And at shelbytwp.org, under Parks and Recreation, we have the information on there as well. And also, I just wanted to add, uh, you see a lot of mountain bikers going by. Well, this asphalt trail leads down to over eight miles of mountain bike trails as well. Really? So, yeah, if you're a mountain biker or, you, or you're right. new to it, come on out and check out the trails. Right, whether you like to walk, yeah. bike, or hike, there is something for everyone exactly. at these parks. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Joe. Joe Youngblood, everyone. I am just so excited to be here in your parks. These are 
the best parks around, honestly. Well, thank you for the kind words and having me on, Taylor. Thanks.
you interested in taking care of a reptile or amphibian at home, but not sure how to take care of them? Why not adopt one at our Burgess Shadbush Nature Center? One-year adoptions are $25 for a small animal and $50 for a large animal. You'll get an adoption certificate and the adoption fee will help cover vet care and expenses for your animal. You're encouraged to come in regularly to take care of your animal. For more information, you can call the Burgess Shadbush Nature Center at 586-323-2478 or contact them at naturecenter at shelbytwp.org. You can visit the Nature Center yourself at 4101 Riverbends Drive off of the Ryan Road entrance of Riverbends Park. Dogs, puppies, good boys, and our best friends. There's no better way to bond with them than spending time outdoors. But when it's time for them to go, make sure you pick up the poop. It prevents germs from spreading and keeps the parks clean. Thank you for continuing to make Shelby Township a great place to live. Now let's take a little walk through Holland Ponds, where if you're lucky, you might see a blue heron up in the trees. Hidden away at Gene Shepherd Park, there's a trail leading straight to Yates Cider Mill. Let's go take a look.
standing next to the Clinton River, but up next we have Heritage Pond. Let's take a look. Located between Van Dyke and M53, Whispering Woods is a true hidden gem of Shelby Township.
That's just a sneak peek at some of the most beautiful paths, trails, and parks around the Shelby Township area. And remember, all the parks are open for residential use. So if you're just needing to get out of the house or you want a change of scenery, look no further than Shelby Township's parks. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Living in Shelby Township. I'm Taylor Vitani, and we'll see you next time.